If you consider that for many, many decades the stories of Irishmen serving in the British Army was to a certain extent effaced from Irish history, much of this material, or this kind of material, has been lost. The material that has survived in libraries such as Trinity are very rare and really important that they not only should be preserved but that they should be freely made available to all Irish people and people who have interest in Irish history everywhere to access and that's what we're doing with this launch today. So the students can actually read the material easily but they can also make their own of it and they can curate exhibitions of it so their entire uh, learning experience is completely different and they are introduced to original material earlier in their careers and also in a way that hopefully enthuses them for its continued use. The stories of the war are very well known but when you actually hold in your hand the paper upon which was written the most awful accounts of the Battle of the Somme, these were written in the trench, these were written in the dugouts by somebody who had just come back from or was just about to go out to one of the most awful experiences that humankind has ever gone through. To get those stories in the true voice in which they should be told, you have to go back to the archives. The whole landscape round about had altered in appearance. The trenches had been flattened out and all along the road were the dead, some blown to pieces, fragments of arms lying here and there, other bodies that had been disinterred formed evil smells all down the road. It was a vile spot. Marched through Ypres in the rain at night and along the Rue de Lille road to the Chateau Rosenthal, which is very much battered. It had once been a very splendid house. A good piano was still left there. And on the Tuesday, we were playing on it all day. One man was badly burned by the phosphorus and the sentry was blown to pieces. Poor devil, what an existence this is. It is only the politicians that wish to prolong the war. We, however, manage to exist and try and be cheerful. <laughs> 